Hi friends, it's Sherry with The Homespun Wife. I wanted to step in today and share with you some great tips about making your house smell good. Um, there are some typical ways that homemakers make their house smell fresh. Um, one of them is using aerosol sprays. But the more we learn about aerosol sprays, the more we know that if we use them every day, they are not um, very good for us. To breathe in, especially if you have a child or a person in your home that has asthma or um, emphysema, then it is not going to be as helpful for them to breathe that in. So you need to um, to think about another way um, instead of using that all the time. You know, maybe occasionally you could do that, um, but it's probably not helpful all the time. And that's another thing we're learning about candles. Now, I love candles and I burn them quite a bit and um, I really enjoy them and they do make your house smell great. You can put them anywhere in your home, in your kitchen, your living room, um, your bathroom, but um, they're not always that great to breathe in regularly either. The more that we learn about our environment and the more we learn about, um, you know, about the toxins that are in different, um, different products that we're using in our home, the more that we recognize some of the things we've been doing are probably not that great to do on a regular basis. Now, if you do them now and then, you're probably fine. Um, there's things all around us that can cause us problems um, in this life, but um, to use them all the time, there may be a better way even to, um, to make your house smell great than just using um, aerosols and candles. Now, one of the things that, that my husband always worries about with the candles is, am I going to forget and leave a candle burning when we leave home or when we go to bed at night? We always walk through and make sure my candles are blown out. And so that is an issue as well. When you have a candle, you know, you have a, a live flame that is, um, that is burning. And so you have to be really mindful about that. Um, one thing that you can do that I have done in the past, it works really, really well, and that is to put a pot on your stove, and this is another thing though you'll have to remember, <laughs> you'll have to remember it if you start it. Put a pot on your stove, turn it on low with some orange peels in it. You might could even eat the oranges or tangerines out, and then take those skins and put them down the pot. You can sprinkle in some cinnamon, and then, um, you know, that is just gonna make your house smell wonderful. I love the smell of cinnamon. It's one of my favorite scents. And, um, and orange, it's all the citrus smells are always really good. And so remember to do that. That is something that is very helpful. Just remember to cut off your burner if you start um, putting that on the stove, but you'll be able to smell that all through your home. It's not just something that goes into one room. If you put it in your kitchen, you're probably gonna be able to smell it throughout the other parts of your house. And it makes everything just smell wonderful for a long time. If you take it off the stove and go out and run some errands and come back home and step in, you're still gonna smell it even though um, it's been hours ago that you that you had that boring. So um, that's one good way that you can remember to, um, you know, to keep your house smelling fresh. Now, I want to show you one way that I have been using to scent my house, and I really do love it. And um, let me show you what that is. This is my wax burner. And my parents bought me this um, for Christmas. Let me um, sit down my oranges. <laughs> so I can show it to you. My parents bought me this for Christmas, and the thing I love about it is a lot of these tart warmers, they have candles in them, and you have to also remember to blow them out. But this one has a bulb in it, as you can see, and this goes on top, and you put your um, wax inside, and it melts it down, and it just makes your house smell wonderful. And um, it gets a little bit warm, but not so hot that it would really burn you, and I love that when you have children around. Um, it's really, really helpful. And what I usually buy to go in here are these wax, little small wax melts. They come in little cubes like this. And this one is a cinnamon and spice because like I told you, I just really love the smell of cinnamon. I think it just really does a lot for the house. Um, and so you take one of these, you pop them out, and you put them in this little bur uh, burner cup here and put it on top of the lamp and as it melts it just disseminates the scent into your home and it's wonderful but you know to buy these can be like a dollar fifty or two dollars each sometimes you can find them for a dollar um, the scent is usually not quite as great in those but you're also um, thinking about what am I putting into my house what kind of thing is in this wax what kind of chemical have they put in there to cause this scent to um, 
to smell good. And so I've recently found a recipe for something totally natural and good. And I wanted to share it with you. So if you have a wax burner or if you're thinking about getting one, you will have an idea about using this in the fall. You know, fall is coming quickly. We're getting um, to the end of July now. I love the smells that fall brings. Of course, I love the cinnamon, the pumpkin pie. And um, this particular recipe that I'm getting ready to show you is so easy. It's something you're gonna have around your house anyway, in your kitchen, and it is so natural and you won't feel bad at all about using it. Now, what you start with is um, you start with three tablespoons of this oil. So let me get the lid off of this. It's on there pretty tight, and then I'll come right back to you. Okay, so as your base, you're going to use three tablespoons of coconut oil. Oops, I'm dripping a little bit. You know, when your coconut oil in the winter time, when you have it in your cabinet, it's going to be very firm. Um, but as the weather warms up and your home gets warmer, if your kitchen warms up, it's going to get... Um, more and more like liquid and so this is what it looks like now and you take three tablespoons of that and you pop that in the top of your tart warmer okay and then you're going to take three teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice now let me find my little teaspoon here and i will pop that in there now here is my pumpkin pie spice uh, I may have to stop again and do some pouring because I'm, since I'm filming with one hand, it's really tough for me to um, do this actually in front of you, but I'm going to stop again and I'm going to take um, three teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice and I'm going to put it right into that oil. Okay, be right back. Okay, so there is my three teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice that I have put over into the coconut oil. And then I'm going to take a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon and sprinkle that in there as well okay and then i'm just going to kind of push it down in there a little bit you don't have to do a whole lot of mixing because i think the oil is just going to absorb these spices oh my goodness the scent is so good it is so good and all this is is some coconut oil and some spices out of your kitchen that are going to sit in here and when they get hot they are it's going to smell like a pumpkin cinnamon pie is baking in your oven as we speak and this scent will last a good while and the great thing about it is when you feel like the scent is no longer as effective you can dump it all out in your trash and you can start all over again now, i will go along with the tissue and i will clean along the top of this so it looks a little neater and then i will allow this to um, warm up and it is going to make the house smell really good and so this is pretty much an all-natural way that um, you can make your house smell good especially as you go into fall time it's really a, going to be a popular scent around here Thank you guys for spending some time with me for hearing about the tips for making your house smell great. How do you do it? How do you make your house smell great? Um, I love the smell of a house that's just been cleaned, that's been dusted, um, that's been mopped. It's wonderful, but um, those are good scents. But if we're looking at just everyday, normal, feel good smells, how do you do that in your house? Hope you all have a wonderful day. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. What a blessing it is to come along um, each day and to see new friends being here. Um, thank you so much for all your support. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye.